Hello guys, it's me Yoko. Today I am going to make a quick video on the abduction of Japanese citizens by North Korea. Yeah, just so you know though, it's not actually only Japanese people that were abducted. But as for Japanese citizens, there is a great website with solid content about it. So I am going to read the summary part for you now. So between about 1970 to 1980, there were a string of incidents involving the abduction of Japanese citizens by North Korea. The government of Japan has currently identified 17 Japanese citizens abducted by North Korea. But let me pause here. They say 17, but in addition to the abductees already identified by the Japanese government, there are hundreds of missing person cases involving people who might have been abducted by North Korea. Okay, now let's get back. In September 2002, North Korea acknowledged that Japanese citizens had been abducted and five abductees returned to Japan in October of that year. North Korea has not, however, offered adequate explanations for the fate of the rest of the Japanese abductees. North Korea insists that the, the abduction issue has been resolved. The North Korean position, however, leaves many questions unanswered and the government of Japan considers it to be unacceptable. Of course, what are, are your thoughts on this? Um, first, you probably need more information, but as for me, how I see it is that um, first, I have to make it clear that the North Korea that uh, that is talked about on the website doesn't precisely equal to the North Korea today. However, they're still keeping our people there against their will for decades, so um, they definitely need to get them back here as soon as possible. And I wish that I could say, like, return them or else our military will launch our missiles to attack there or our military, I mean, our soldiers will go into your country and destroy everything there or whatever, just to, even just to, you know, threat them. I wish I could say that, but we can't. Why? Because all we have is so-called self-defense force, not military. Our people are abducted like nothing and the self-defense force is definitely failing at self-defense. <laughs> And it's not, of course, um, the fault of them. It's just um, a matter of constitution and laws here. It's really ironic, like, you know, how's that a force that we have for our self-defense? <laughs> I don't know. This is embarrassing, but things here in Japan don't function and things here don't make sense and that is why I wanted to make this video in English to reach out to the world. Oh, and there is even an anime that shows the abduction. Um, you can get a sense of what it means and what it's like. So, um, and it's available in many languages, so please check it out. Who doesn't like anime, you know? I mean, it's a seri serious matter, but it's well you know, well made. So I really hope that you guys will check it out. Um, I will link it below. So please, you know, check out the anime together with all the information given on the website through the link that I'm gonna post below. This situation for Japan has been really tough, but we do not give in. I can't speak for the entire Japan because I don't know, but as for where I live, called Fukuoka Prefecture, um, some Japanese citizens get together once a month and speak to the people on the street that are passing by using a microphone. And also we get together once a year and march the city um, to show that we want the victims back. Unfortunately, though, the media here doesn't report it and yeah, it's pretty sad and it's not only the people he in this prefecture that do that, so um, yeah, the media here is really messed up, just like anyone else in the world, I guess. The march this year, by the way, is planned on the 14th, which is on the coming Sunday, so if you're Japanese watching this and if you live get, uh, if you happen to live around here, please, please, please come and join us. And if you are from other countries, I really appreciate it that you're just there and you're hearing me out. It means a much, much more than you think it does. And um, if you have any extra time and energy, though, I will love you to 
um, let others know about this abduction because this needs to be exposed to the international society more and more. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. So thank you so much for watching and um, yeah, I guess I will see you later. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye.